Hey, friends and family. Um, this thing should be behaving mostly properly. I tested it before I started recording. Recording. Um, so, I think it's been about six months since my last video. Um, I'm less likely to sit down and record when I'm stressed and th things just keep going wrong. Um, just, um, and I apologize for the angle. I'm, as per usual, I'm sitting on my bed and, um, and I prop my Bible under the laptop to, uh, trying to straight it out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's still not right. And so, sorry. Um, and sorry, it's been so long since I made a video, but I, I don't like to get on here when it feels like everything's always falling apart. I, I, you, nobody wants to hear how your life is falling apart. Nobody wants to hear that. No, no, nobody wants to hear how, okay, your car is broke down again. Oh my, this is the third major breakdown this year. Um, uh, the, the car has been towed to the shop and I'm stuck and trapped at home. Um, and, you know, of course, trapped at home means I can't get to work, can't get to the grocery store, can't do anything. And there is like no place to within walking distance of where I work and there's no public transportation to take advantage of we're just trapped in the middle of freaking nowhere um which in the middle of freaking nowhere isn't bad most of the time because i'm not exactly a social person and and i don't have to worry about i guess a lot of the things people worry about that lived in crammed in city neighborhoods you, you know um uh, uh, you know, I don't bother nobody and nobody bothers me. I, I, I mean, yes, I have a neighbor behind me and our backyards touch each other. And I have a neighbor on each side, just like in a city neighborhood, except my yard isn't the size of a postage stamp. And, uh, you, you know, so we're not, we're not on top of each other, on top of each other. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's, I could walk next door and ask for a cup of sugar, um, easily. Um, that's not a problem except for, I doubt if Sanford and Son next door has a cup of sugar and there's nobody in the house on the other side of me yet. I believe the people who originally owned that house either passed away or have gotten too elderly to snowbird it down here for the winter. That's when they would usually come. Um, but anyhow, another neighbor has bought that property and he's fixing it up, um, I believe, to to sell it. I don't think he's interested in, in landlording. It didn't sound like that. So, um, but here I am trapped again in my home waiting for news on i'm not going to get any news tonight it's because uh, the shop's already closed um uh, I, I doubt if they even managed to drag it in and start looking at it all i can tell you is i don't know what i'm gonna do because <laughs> because even uh, i'm so tapped out from my my mom dying um major car repair that was four thousand dollars right at immediately after my mother died which had already tapped me out um and then you know a couple months later a, another significant car repair because the belt that uh, the see, freaking can't remember the name of the belt the serpentine belt had snapped and and it wasn't because the belt was old. The belt was newer. 
uh, it, but freaking practically brand new and it snapped and it was another problem that caused the belt to snap and all of that had to be fixed and so that was basically another two thousand dollars um and yes i know i'm overdue for replacing this pos i know that i know that but i can't afford anything that's the problem there's nothing affordable i can't even look at new cars that there's no point in me even looking at a new car because there's nothing I can afford. And when it's time to go for a used car, well, I, I don't have cash on hand to pay for something that's, you know, a few thousand dollars. And there's not a such thing as anything that's just a few thousand dollars in the area here. Um, that's just, that's you know... Uh, I mean, even here, your average used car starts around ten thousand, um, and I can't. I don't have anything to put down, and I don't have any. I can't. I can't afford the payments. Like I, my credit is good enough to be financed, but I can't afford the payments. Um, you know, and, 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 and what is so hard to understand about, I can't afford to go over 200 a month. And then a dealer says, hey, I've got this deal. This thing will only cost you 325 a month. No, no. Oh my God. Just listen. I, I, I don't I, I don't know what it's like to be a car dealer. Okay, I, I and I know you're there to to make money, but you know what? It is <laughs> you can't make money off of off of people who you are pricing out of being able to have a car. Um, I, I just. I, I just don't get it. You, you know, like I said, I can I can be approved for a car loan, um, but I can't afford a monthly payment. There, I, I can't. There, there's there's I can't get a reasonable monthly pay, monthly payment that I can afford. So all of these car lots, new or used, are absolutely useless to me. Um, so. Here I am. Make suggestions. I don't. I don't. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna do. I. I, I mean, I. I got nothing left. I'm. I'm out. I'm spent. I'm. I'm at this point now, waiting to. One, be fired because I can't get to my job, and two. Lose my house because I, I, I've lost my job and I can't make my house payments. Because I, I went from not only being priced out of the rental market, this is a kind of for uh, uh, an apartment rental, I have also been priced out of the car market. And I work full time. I am a 40 hour a week employee. What? Uh, um, and I know somebody's going, oh, pick up a few extra hours. Uh, while well, I'm a closing, I'm a closer. Um, so yeah, the store's closing. There's not, it's not easy for me to, to pick up a few extra hours. Um, and then there's, I'm having health problems. So health wise, I'm not really able to do a few extra hours. I'm barely making it through my eight hours a day. Um, and, and that is with a lot of pain and uh, occasionally throwing up in the bathroom on my break, you know.
and I, I don't know what to do. And, you know, me and Cherokee got nobody. And, um, I've already passed 10 minutes, and, uh, so that's how we are.